All right, here we are, day two. I'm gonna change out the TXV. Got my fan. Got my little enclosure up so I can work out of the rain. Um, about to pump down the system, shut down the liquid service valve, and pump everything out I can, even though there'll probably be a little bit of liquid trapped in that uh, valve I had to reclaim, or in that line. Shutting down the liquid service valve. I'm training American Standard. It's much easier to do this because the suction valve is a quarter turn shut. Basically, you put a wrench on it, turn it, and it's closed. So, that's an easy open and shut valve. So, we'll go ahead and turn the AC off so it's not calling. As you see, it's calling now from the contactor. So, I can depress the contactor manually and uh, run the refrigerant out of the line. She got almost everything out of the line, so we did a pretty good job there. Uh, next thing we want to do is to take out the old TXV and uh, put in a new one. It's bolt in, so that's kind of nice. A little bit easier. Alright, I got my new Testo 550s on the pressure test and so far it's raised up a few so it looks like it's holding really well at 11 minutes. I'm about to put it into a vacuum and we should be good to go. Release a charge and hopefully our charge is good to go already. You never know. And then we'll, uh, should be done. Okay, we got down 205 microns. 200. <clears throat> so our vacuum's pretty much finished. I'm gonna uh, let this run for another minute or two. Then we can uh, finish up and restart the system. We are back up and running. We just started out, so our superheat's coming down. Uh, TXV's putting a little bit extra refrigerant into the evaporator to see the higher pressure here. Uh, so we'll see where it, uh, where it comes out. I'll check the subcooling rating to see if we are undercharged. Uh, we may just need a minute to get up, but uh, we'll take a look in just a second. Okay, we've been running about 20 minutes, and that subcooling's uh, coming up. If it makes it within parameters, I'll let it go. Uh, we're real close, so I'll let it run for a few more minutes. It's very close to the 10 degree subcooling parameters of 7 to 13, which is a wide range, but I will not tinker with it if it gets up into that range. Uh, superheat's come down at 17 now. Uh, our evaporator temperature is dropping as the air conditioning runs. Started off in the 50s, now it's down to 49.3. Our condenser temperature has rised. Uh, risen, sorry, slightly. As you see now we're in the 48s in the evaporator temperature. So and there's our T1, T2 measurements. Uh, so we got 66 coming back. Uh, and that's with 17 degrees superheat. We got 86 going out, and that's with a uh, <coughs> about 7 degrees subcooling as of the last time I saw. So everything's looking pretty good. Yeah, we're up 7.2. So you know what? Looks like we're going to be good to go by the time it's all said and done. So uh, put this one in the books. TXV changed out. Doing better now and uh, happy customer.